In a quaint little town, not too far from your own, lived a couple of kids who were cycling home. Two kids who aren't much different from you, heading home after a hard day of school. Katrina and Tom were the names of the pair, who'd soon be competing in the school science fair. When Katrina asked Tom a serious question, Would you like to see which project will be the best one? Now Tom was quite rightly perturbed by this notion, for his project promised perpetual motion. But his curiosity grew to be large, so he followed Katrina right into her garage. She pulled off the blanket that covered it up. And Tom's eyes, well, they bulged and lit up. The Needematizer! She said with a grin. The Needematizer here surely will win. But what does it do? Tom said as he stared, and rubbing his eyes as its lights blunk and blared. The Needematizer! She said with such glee. The Needematizer gives just what you need. So ask it, just ask it, for anything at all, no matter how big or no matter how small. Tom stood there a while, wanting hard to believe. But could this machine satisfy every need? And figuring there was no harm in just asking, he took a big breath and he said, Here's your task then. Every day as I get home from school, I have the same snack that just makes my mouth drool. A plate piled high with the tastiest cookies and a cool glass of milk on the side, if you please. The Needematizer, it groaned just a bit, shook just a little and had a small fit for it. Filling such a request was no matter, so I'll pop the cookies and milk on a platter. Tom couldn't believe it. Katrina had done it. A machine that could give them whatever they wanted. After the cookies and milk had been eaten, Tom had to admit that this could not be beaten. No matter what others might show at the fair, the Needematizer was without compare. Now give it a tough one. She smiled with her dimples. Something like cookies and milk is too simple. Well, it's been many years, so I think I would like a brand new, real new, new, stupendous new bike. It whirred and it stirred. From inside came a crash, and after a moment, the machine gave a flash. But sitting before them, there was no new bike but a tiny, still shiny, unstupendous new trike. A bike, not a trike! Tom moaned and he griped. You must have misheard, for I wanted a bike. And even if I really asked for a trike, a red one is really what I would have liked. So thinking that Tom was asking for something, the Needematizer popped out his red one thing. Well, you did ask for a red one. I think that this thing is in need of adjusting, especially after it spit out that red one thing. So Katrina turned back to her workbench once more. But Tom had requests that he couldn't ignore. You probably can guess what young Tom wanted next. For what is it kids of his age enjoy best? And what would you do in his shoes were you in them and had a wishing machine to fulfill them? Needematizer, time for you to make noise. Because all that I want is a mountain of toys, big ones and small ones in every size, even the ones that no money can buy. As if in slow motion, Katrina turned round. She saw the lights blink as it made a soft sound. She knew that no good would come from Tom's request, so she squeezed her eyes tight, and she hoped for the best. From outside, you wouldn't have noticed at first. A grumbling, a rumbling, and a sound that went splurs. Then up through the roof, the toys and kids burst and Katrina's good hopes had turned out for the worst. Higher and higher and higher it grew, much higher than most of the birds ever flew. A mountain of toys, just as Tom had asked. The Needematizer was up to the task. On top of the mountain, they shivered and shook, and after a minute, they dared take a look to see just how far up the mountain had grown and taken them from young Katrina's warm home. Katrina was busy. She thought and she planned and soon found a way to get back to flat land. 
Their only hope now was the needlematizer, so she reached out and grabbed a toy voice synthesizer. Get rid of these toys! She yelled loud and long. Make them disappear for this wish was all wrong! The plan that Katrina had found was all right, but she quickly realized a severe oversight for when there is nothing between you and the ground, a small thing called gravity takes you straight down. While Tom was thinking of all the lost loot, Katrina cried out, Parachute! Parachute! Her yelling was heard by the needematizer. Katrina was safe and a little bit wiser. Tom still plummeted, enjoying the breeze, and at the last minute said, One jetpack, please. Back in the garage, they both ended up. Katrina decided she'd had quite enough. This thing is too dangerous, in need of repair. I'll have to sit out of this year's science fair. She reached for the button to do what was best. But once again, Tom had one last request. Too bad, he said, that we lost all the toys, for fire trucks are known to bring everyone joy. The kids got out safely. You knew that they would. And the needematizer was long gone for good. The fire truck Tom asked for quickly arrived, though not in quite the same way he devised. Needematizers perform any task you require, but sometimes accomplish the task with a fire. The idea of a needematizer sounds nice, but the things it delivers come with a harsh price. If only the kids could find something, or someone, who gladly supplied all they needed, and then some. What would you tell them so they could be wiser? What could they need more than a needematizer? <laughs>